Hi hey guys, there's another video about um, the question of the user, which is always interesting to get some what ifs. What if I wanted to have a minimal GNOME installation, right? There are four options in my eyes. There is Arconet. I've just made that video online. And out of my head, it's 4,411, I think. And the other way is the Arco Pro, which we're going to show you now. This is the Arco Pro setup for beginning the release of begin February. So in eight days time, you'll have this ISO. It's already now on AAG for you to test. So what if we use Arco Pro? We don't need to build anything. In the other video, 4411 there, I used Arconet. We went into the list of the packages and we removed packages. Now that we have available on the Arco Pro. So third option is Arco install, another way of installing GNOME. And of course, there is the Archnix ISO and then install GNOME. Arco Pro compared with the other two, Arco install and Arco and Archnix, is that you don't end in a black screen. That's the main advantage for beginners. We do end in a black screen right now, but it's gonna be a graphical installation. We'll have Calamaris and we'll do our thing. Right, so this is Arco Pro. Arco install and Arch Linux end up in a black screen. Here we can say offline or online. So you can either say I'm gonna end up in a black screen. This is definitely a black screen. If you do Pro, easy, bare Arch Linux system, no desktop, no apps, know what you're getting into. But super, right? Because we skip the bits and pieces that are in Arco install and in the Arch Linux install, the black screen is in, in the typing of the X4 and as a DM, yes, no, and all the choices, right? It's here done via a graphical user interface and the Calamaris helps us there. So either this one or that one, this is a more tricky one because you enter the black screen and you need to type sudo pipe minus s gnome and keep on installing. This one is more already a choice. I'll choose to install extras in the sense of extra kernels, maybe. Maybe extra drivers and do check out the Arch Wiki. So yesterday somebody says in my machine, I shouldn't have installed Video Intel, right? Know what you need, know what you don't need. Don't start selecting things that get you in trouble later. Next, do I want Bluetooth? Do I want the laptop support? Do I want Samba sound? Right? Choose. I'm not choosing anything. Right? SDM is already there. Sure, fine. But if you want more design, right? But the one that we're using, the simplicity, is there and is beautiful. And here is choices time. Which one do you want? There is you know, but you can just say I want that. Minimal is minimal. That's it. And you don't select anything else. GNOME Extra is actually law software that's why it's so separate otherwise it would become bloatware that people say to us right it's just the package we did not invent the package it's created by arch right select it if you want it so this would be my minimal choice next and the rest if you want minimal you don't select anything eh? and then you can test it out is this the way you want to work? And I'll end the same way as I end the other video. Guys, staying in control is done by one way and there is no internet, right? Take a look at the package that will be installed. Micro just there to have something, some kind of editor. Super simple to remove. And these things are, this thing, I don't use all these things in XF burn, who burns CDs and DVDs. It's part of XFC4 and XFC4 goodies, right? Parole, well, yeah, um, use it if you like, but there's VLC, there are so many other players. So, that's that. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So let's end with Firefox. <laughs> Firefox, not available, pseudo pacman, minus s, get the databases, 
Firefox. Where can we download Firefox? Now Pac-Man knows. And hopla, we need how many? 34 packages for one application. Well, 33 packages for one application. And then I can show you where you should end with, always, on any distro. All right. Internet, Firefox. And this is the live environment. It's just showing you something. It will be gone, eh? I did not install it. Arclix Nemesis, guys. Take a look at what it says here because this really is important. Scripting, learning to script, reading my scripts, starting to see how does Eric do it and then see because I have control over Buns and Labs, FreeBSD, GhostBSD, Debian, Peppermint, Pop, LMDE, Linux, Linux Mint, Alma Linux. They are not Arch based, right? But whatever, you learn Linux in Arch Linux, right? Personal, we have here a little bit higher. We have here a lot of lines, these lines here to the left here. Manjaro, if we are on Manjaro, what do I do when I am on Manjaro? If grab Manjaro in each OS release, then we are Manjaro, yes? If that's true, then we are Manjaro. Then I remove this and this and this and that. Stuff that I don't want to do, don't want to have. And if we're on Plasma, we do this and we do that. And all these kind of decisions are things that um, I've made over time and they may not work anymore but this is the logic behind it look in pacman if pacman says parallel 16 i want 20 and i'll just change and update these scripts once i install one of those guys i'll update it again and say make sure that it is the way i like it i remove the stuff i don't want and actually i start with that in the beginning remove if you are on this is never needed and don't want any of them because I don't have the hardware, right? Clean up, clean up. I don't need Chinese fonts. I don't need Japanese fonts. I don't need Korean fonts. Clean up, make something simpler, similar like this. Take how I see how I've done it. Ask ChatGPT, copy paste the code, explain every line. He will explain every single line and you get your script, in, it's so easy today, right? But use artificial intelligence, whatever you want to use. There is more than just ChatGPT. All right. That's what I would like to leave you with. We'll have a GNOME later on. Not that it's important. You know how it looks. But then you go change things, tweak things, install your icons and your themes and have fun. All right. Cheers.